the top pros can make a comfortable living out of triathlon, but I want to know what originally they wanted to do before they did this sport and what they would be doing now if they weren't doing triathlon. And one other question I'm going to ask is what sport they would do as a pro if it wasn't this one? Um, oh, um, oh geez. I'm sick about it. Gosh, that's a difficult question. Uh, I wanted to be an NBA basketball player. <laughs> okay, <laughs> maybe, so you have a sporting uh, dream. Maybe a rapper. <laughs> Those were my two interests growing up. It was definitely obviously leading towards swimming, but if it was outside of sport, I kind of I was quite artistic and I liked photography as well, and that's actually the route my sister's gone down. So I'm always a little bit jealous, thinking, oh, I wish I'd done that. It might have been a bit easier, but it's nice to see her doing that. <laughs> yeah, well, so I, I was a runner, um, and yeah, I always thought I'd be a runner with, uh, you can mix that with a job, so um, I was a physiotherapist. Um, yeah, I always saw myself kind of doing that and, and being one of those handy people on tour that you're in the running camps and stuff and you're helping fixing everyone. Um, that, was, that was kind of my thing, but yeah, then I found triathlon and something even better. I wanted to be a Hollywood actor. <laughs> I'm almost this right, yeah, yeah, I'm totally on camera. No, no, something like that. And then one day I wanted to be a swim, swink? What is it called? A swim, a swink? A swink, what? A swink, yeah, swink. Yeah, yeah. so, yeah, yeah. swim. No, 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 that would look weird. No, I'm wearing pink, exactly, I could be a swim. <laughs> no, it's, but it's also a difficult word, right? Yeah, a swink. Yeah, yeah, a swink. Like psychologist. Psych psychologist, yeah. yeah, that's better. So I wanted to be that, okay. yeah. And then when I had to study at the university, it was like, okay, what can I do? My grade wasn't that high, oh. so I took a, a master in sport and health instead, you okay. know, so. I always hoped that I will be the sportsman and do some sport. First was the swimming, but then I found triathlon and I fall in love with triathlon. So that was my dream and I'm very happy so I can pursue this dream, yeah. Oh, when I was a little kid, I wanted to be a vet, for sure. I love animals. And then I worked in a vet clinic for the summer and then realized I love happy, not sick animals. <laughs> I realized pretty quickly, like, I was not cut out for the healthcare type profession because I was a bit too much of a softy. Probably something about talking, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I actually, yeah, I don't know. Actually, it's it's pretty funny because when I fa finished my master degrees, I was like, should I go out and get a normal job? And that normal job would probably be something uh, teaching at the university in sport yeah. and health, something like that, you know. But I don't think I would have lasted that long, you know. <laughs> I would probably get bored of it yeah. really quickly. If triathlon hadn't come along at all, I, I'd probably still be working a desk job and. Um, in the financial industry. I, I was doing that for five or six years, uh, maybe not that long, four or five years, um, before both Heather and I just decided to quit our, our normal jobs and, and pursue triathlon full time. So I'd probably be, be doing something along those lines. I'd be a coach because um, I think with physio, people come to you um, and they don't want to come to you. Like they come to you because they're injured, they never planned that. Um, whereas as a coach, they come to you with a handful of goals. They come to you because they want your help and they're motivated. And yeah, I, I just love that. And so, yeah, I think coaching is even more kind of rewarding maybe. Awesome. Uh, I mean, I've taken a liking to uh, to learning, so I probably would go back to school and uh, take philosophy or religious studies or something. I, I don't know. I have an interest in, in that area of things uh, as well. Just uh, and probably one of the reason why I'm interested in ultra distance racing is the mind. So I'd probably uh, study theory of mind and psychology and stuff a bit too. If I wasn't doing triathlon, I guess I probably would just be working full time. Um, I might have a couple of kids. Um, I would like to have a family one day. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not sure. And right now, if you were not doing sport, what do you think you would be doing? I think I would like to do something around sport. If, if maybe the coach or, or helping the athletes or anything around the triathlon or sport, I would really enjoy it. I think that's my, like, I feel really good in this environment riding a dirt bike like on big adventures throughout North American continent probably yeah camping and and seeing backcountry roads yeah uh, I mean I love sort of personal training and coaching so I probably would go full-time being a personal trainer or something like that if you could be a pro in any other sport but irrelevant of your skill set and your body types so you could be any shape you wanted and have any skill what <laughs> sport would you be a pro in 
Uh, I mean, basketball is my first uh, first sporting love, I think, and uh, I probably would be a, a, an NBA basketball player. Put another foot on to me and a little more bulk, and maybe uh, maybe that'd be possible. I'd love to be a surfer, actually. Like, I'd love to move down to Cornwall and just sort of hit the beach every day. I think it's so cool. So yeah, may maybe when I've retired, I'll do that. I don't think you've been to Cornwall in the winter that much. <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> you wouldn't want to be a surfer there, I promise you. What what sport would you be a professional in? I love triathlon, so I would do triathlon, so I wow. wouldn't change it. Yeah. There's no other sport you'd prefer to do? I like to do other sports as well, but that's, that's the, I like to swim, bike, run, so, so why, why not don't do it? Yeah. Uh, surfing. Um, this is such an Australian answer, we've already had this one, I love it. Probably all Australians say surfing, but I mean, it seems like such a good choice. I mean, I really enjoy the beach and uh, they get paid well um, to, yeah, just hang out at the beach. I mean, obviously, surfing's very challenging, and I, that's not a skill I have, um, like a lot of Australians. Uh, probably the other one would be tennis. Ah. Yeah. What would you like to be a pro at? What sport? Mm, that's difficult. Maybe I wanted to be a tennis player because Ooh. there's lots of money in tennis, right? Yeah. And they also have like good butts and stuff like that, you know. Like nice uh, yeah, exactly. And they have like the small skirts and they can be girly. And yeah, I, I probably they hang out with the cool kids, you know. Yeah. So yeah, probably a tennis. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I can't say a dancer. My brother's a dancer, and I swear blind it's not a sport. So I'm not going to say dancing. <laughs> but um, probably tennis because it's a summer sport. Mm -hmm. um, I like to think I have a big grunt, uh, so make loads of noises on court. <laughs> Come on, give us um, a oh, again, I'm tapering. Oh, I'm sorry. tapering. Oh. So we'll get that we'll another time. Okay. One day, one day. <laughs> Brilliant. It's definitely a bit of a common theme with surfing there. When it comes to careers, I think sport is ingrained in the blood of most of these triathletes. But hopefully, we will see them all carry on with triathlon for many years yet. And if you want to catch all of GTN's videos, just hit the globe to make sure you've subscribed. And if you want to see a comparison between wetsuits and non-wetsuits when it comes to swimming, that is just here. And if you want to know who we think are the world's toughest triathletes, we made a video on that just here. <laughs>